Hello. Hi, I'm Mrs. Keogh, and I'm here today in our story room at the library to do Mother Goose on the Loose for everyone. And look what I found. It was hiding in the closet. I found the felt board and some of my Mother Goose felt board things. Anyway, uh, this is based on Betsy Diamond Cohen's uh, program, Mother Goose on the Loose, and we're going to get started. And I hope everybody's having a nice week and hopefully staying cool. And I hope you all have power. So anyway, here's our goosey. <clears throat> and we go, old mother goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Old mother goose, when she wanted to wander, would fly through the air on a very fine gander. Okay, and she goes, Wee Willy Winky runs through the town, upstairs and downstairs in his nightgown, rapping at the windows, tapping at the locks. Are the children in their beds? It's past eight o'clock. Okay, we'll put Goosey over here. It's amazing, I'm doing my office in the story room and it's gotten really, really crowded. I have like six cartons of books to unpack. Okay, <clears throat> and we have Mrs. Perky Bird. We go, good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird, Perky Bird, Perky Bird. Good morning, Mrs. Perky Bird. Where are you? I'm flying in the air, the air, air, the air, air, the air. I'm flying in the air, the air, way up high. Thank you, Mrs. Perky Bird. Just to rescue her from my cat, who has taken a great liking to her. Right up there with his, his red cat named Mouse. Okay. Have I got all the monkeys here, or just four of them? Oh no, one's hiding. Come out. And we go like this. We go, five little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Four little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Three little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. Two little monkeys jumping on the bed. One fell off and bumped her head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. One little monkey jumping on the bed. He fell off and bumped his head. Mama called the doctor and the doctor said, no more monkeys jumping on the bed. No more monkeys jumping on the bed. All right, like we always do, we'll put the monkeys back in and they'll go no. Yes, monkeys. Afternoon nap. All right. Now I have a book to read. And it's by Kevin Hankies. And it's published by Green Willow Books. I'm on a Kevin Hankies kick these days. It's called A Good Day. It said, It was a bad day. Little yellow bird lost his favorite tail feather. Little white dog got her leash all tangled up in the fence. Little orange fox couldn't find his mother. And little brown squirrel dropped her nut. But then, little brown squirrel found the biggest nut ever. And little orange fox turned around and there was his mother, because mommies never go far. 
little white dog worked herself free and ran in circles around through the dandelions. And little yellow bird forgot about his feather and flew higher than he ever had before. And there's more. A little girl spotted a perfect yellow feather, picked it up, tucked it behind her ear, and ran to her mother, shouting, Mama, what a good day. Yes, so I wish you all good days. All right. <clears throat> so we're going to toss the pig, and we go, Hickory dickory dare. Throw the pig up in the air. Farmer Brownson brought him down. Hickory dickory dare. Hickory dickory dare. Throw the pig up in the air. Farmer Brownson brought him down. Hickory dickory dare. Very nice. Okay. Now let's do Itsy Bitsy on the felt board. If you were all here with me, you could help me come up and take things off the felt board and put them back on. But <clears throat> it's just me here today, but I'm talking to all of you. Okay. So let's get started. Here we go. The itsy bitsy spider went up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sun and dried up all the rain. And the itsy bitsy spider went up the spout again. Yeah, we'll put the rain down here. We don't need any more rain for a while. Okay. Now we're going to have our bouncy song, and I'll use Goosey for that. And we go, Seesaw, scare her down, all the way to London town. Seesaw, scare her down, all the way to Wilton town. And we go, Mother and Father and Uncle John went to the market one by one. Mother fell off, father fell off, and Uncle John went on and on and on and on and on and on on and 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 on on and on and on and on and on. Just like that. Then we go. The noble Duke of York, he had so many men. He marched them up top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. The noble Duke of York, he had so many men. He marched them up top of the hill and he marched them down again. And when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Very good. Thank you, Goosey. You're always so helpful. Okay. We're going to have another story. It's How Do Dinosaurs Choose Their Pets by Jane Yolen. And it is published, let's see, Blue Sky Press. Okay, and what I like about these books is they, they use the real names of the dinosaurs. And dinosaur names are one of the cooler things out there. And they don't just call them long necks or sharp teeth. So if you have one of these books, and you can always put them on hold and pick them up at our window. Uh, if you have one, you can look in the front and you see all the strange, wonderful names that the dinosaurs have. There's so many kinds. A dinosaur with a pet. How does a dinosaur pick out his pet? Does he go on the prowl with a stick and a net? Does he head to the zoo and take home a big cat? And what does his mom have to say about that? Yeah, look, they'll try, oh, he's a Styracosaurus, okay. He's got a tiger. Does she drag a huge elephant back in a wagon with both its long trunk and wee tail a wagon? Or speaking of dragons, does she go acquire a high-flying beastie who loves to breathe fire? Does he pick out a boa constrictor for play? Does it look at his dog in a very odd way? The dog's just smiling and the boa constrictor's thinking that he might be tasty. We've had boa constrictors here before. Does he sneak an iguana inside of a cap? Or lead home a kangaroo by a long strap? Does he ask for a manatee, maybe a whale? 
or wish for a shark he can keep in a pail. I don't think I'd like a shark. Does she carry off tortoises, zebras, a mink, giving them hay and a cola to drink? Is that what you think? No, a dinosaur doesn't. She knows what to do. She never brings anything home from the zoo. He goes to his shelter or pet store or farm to find a small creature who will do no harm. He brings home a kitten or a hamster or a pup that he can teach manners as they both grow up. She cares for her pet and gives love any, even more. Big hugs to your friend, little dinosaur. <clears throat> okay, we have our scarves. Remember, if you're home and you can borrow a scarf from mommy or you can use a washcloth or a dish towel or pretty much anything. I myself like my green scarf because green is my favorite color. Okay, and we toss them up in the air. They float down. There's no big wind today like there was last week. Okay. <clears throat> and then we take the edge of the, the corner of the scarf and we go, wind, oh wind, oh wind today. The wind is blowing my scarf away. Wind, oh wind, oh wind, I say. The wind is blowing my scarf away. Okay. And then we scrunch up our scarves and we pretend they're covered with warm, soapy water. Okay. And we go, this is the way we wash our face, wash our face, wash our face. This is the way we wash our face on a summer morning. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a summer morning. We'll do that again. This is the way we wash our hands, wash our hands, wash our hands. This is the way we wash our hands on a summer morning. This is the way we wash our knees, wash our knees, dirty knees. This is the way we wash our knees on a summer morning. Just like that. Okay. And we go like this. We hold up our scarves and we go, peek a -boo, I see you. I see Mother Goose kids, yes I do. peek a -boo, I see you. I see Mother Goose kids, yes I do. All right. Now we have our froggy song. And my cat's not here to chase the bubbles. He's probably home knocking things down, which he likes to do. Froggy says, hello. He goes, I had a little froggy. His name was Tiny Jim. I put him in the bathtub to teach him how to swim. He drank up all the water. He ate up all the soap. Now, every time he talks, there's a bubble in his throat. Ribbit, 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 ribbit. Okay. And there's the bubbles. All right. We're going to have a quiet song. We go like this, sleep, baby, sleep, mother's care is deep, father shakes the dreamland tree, pulls down some little dreams for thee, sleep, baby, sleep, mother's care is deep, father shakes the dreamland tree, pulls down some little dreams for thee just like that okay we're going to do a quick thing of knock at the door remember that we go very gently knock at the door pull the bell look inside lift the latch walk inside pull up a chair sit down. How do you do, Mrs. Brown? Very nice. Okay, now we're going to sing Can You Kick With Both Feet? 
just like we usually do. And it goes, can you kick with both feet, both feet, both feet? Can you kick with both feet? Yes, you can. Can you slap your knees now, knees now, knees now? Can you slap your knees now? Yes, you can. Can you swing your arms now, arms now, arms now? Can you swing your arms now? Yes, you can. Can you tap your shoulders, shoulders, shoulders? Can you tap your shoulders? Yes, you can. Can you clap your hands now, hands now, hands now? Can you clap your hands now? Yes, you can. Can you nod your heads now, heads now, heads now? Can you nod your heads now? Yes, you can. Very nice. All right, so I'll say goodbye for now, and I will see you all next week. And like I said, be sure to keep on our website because we have some lovely programs coming up. Okay, take care. Bye.